Hey guys, Tech Show with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to compare the iPhone 13 Pro Max with the new iPhone 14 Pro. Now, in this comparison, it might be slightly different because we're comparing a Pro versus a Pro Max model, but we want to do this comparison just so that you know the difference if you're going to be going to upgrade and thinking of going for a smaller phone like the Pro here on the 14 here. So we're going to talk about in this video some of the top features of both of the phones in comparison, the camera, battery life, the iOS version on it, the performance that we've seen, and what you should consider if you're considering up upgrading and even downsizing in a way. So if sort of upgrade and downside at the same time because of the size. So let's dive right into it. The, both of the phones, of course, as you can see here, not too old here. The iPhone 13 Pro Max was released last year in 2021 of September. And of course, like with every year, there's a new iPhone that comes out. So the iPhone 14 Pro was released here with a few upgrades that came to it. So size-wise, as you can see here, when you hold it here in my hand, you can see that 6.7 inch 13 Pro Max uh, versus just uh, 6.1 inch the on the 14 Pro of course 14 Pro is a Pro not the actual Pro Max comparison which probably is a better comparison but again like we mentioned if you're going to be looking to upgrade and then downgrade the side this is what you're going to be looking at if you're going to be doing that so side by side that's how they look and compare again Pro Max fits comfortably if you have a bigger size and the Pro on the other hand if you have me small to medium hand probably lighter for you and easier on your pockets as well so that's kind of the comparison of it and in terms of the color choices that you have on the 13 Pro Max you do have Sierra Blue the new color and then the Alpine Green which was later introduced on the newer front on the 14 Pro you get the deep purple and of course you have the base colors like the gold silver and your space gray or the black one right those are the base color so that's what you're looking at in terms of some of the physical things other things to note is that physically on the US model at least the 14 Pro no longer holds a physical SIM card anymore as you can see here if we move to the side here we take a look at here there is no physical SIM like on the 13 Pro Max now if you're thinking why that matters it matters because if you're going to be taking the phone outside of the country where they require SIM card and they don't have eSIM yet available in that country, you're kind of sort of stuck with that phone because you won't be able to switch out SIM. There is the global model of the 14 Pro, which we've seen that does actually have the physical SIM. So not sure why Apple has done that. There has been a lot of complaints about not having a physical SIM any longer on the U.S. model of the 14 Pro, but that is a big, big um issue that you can potentially face especially if you're going to be taking the phone out of the country or traveling out of the U.S. region so that's going to be the other thing now uh, let's talk about the actual physical differences as you saw here on the front screen size you see here the top notch here no longer exists here now this thing that you see which is known as the dynamic island here is that small icon up here so if we activate for example on this one you'll notice here that thing changes with notification and things like that so size wise here is another quick comparison when you're looking at it side by side that's what you're going to look at physically on the hardware of these two phones are very similar makeup of course on the 14 pro you got an upgraded version of the actual model here of this processor so you go from uh 15 bionic chip to a 16 bionic chip of course the other thing to mention is that both of the processors are equivalently pretty fast i mean you're not going to notice much of a difference when it comes to just basic stuff because of the way these phones are built generally the performance is negligible even at higher speed but if you do some testing depending on what do you do with the phone you might notice the difference so let's move on to the next big i thing item here it's going to be the cameras here as you notice here on the 14 pro compared to the 13 pro the camera size just increased physically looking at the side by side comparison to note on the 14 pro there has been an improvement on the main camera the main camera went from 12 mp megapixel or 248 megapixel so you got a big upgrade on the 14 camera but besides that the camera on the actual oh, wide and the telephoto is about the same so when you're taking photos do expect improvement on the camera again that's what apple is known for as you know with every single upgrade 
Apple does, camera is going to be the hot topic. And that's where you can see here on the 14 Pro, you now have this ability to do twice the optical zoom versus only just uh, one and three on the other phone. Of course, you can pretty much go ahead and show you by default, you can go up to that by just moving that camera. As you can see here, we can go all the way to it and you're gonna go ahead and zoom in by default. So you go and you have the Zigo option, but then you can actually slide it through. Of course, other things like the actual camera here for video, it's gonna be the same. You have photo, you got night mode and all of the features of it. So improvement on the megapixel again, are you gonna notice it? You might depending on if you're really picky about those things, that's gonna be the other thing to notice. Now let's move on to the next item here on the phone. It's gonna be the battery so the battery is a big topic on these two phones and you might be wondering exactly why is that the case well because the battery size are different because on a pro max model like the 13 pro you have almost a whopping 4352 mah battery it gives you about 28 hours of life compared to the pro model which has a smaller battery around 3200 mah gives you about 23 hours of course both of the phones are rated to last you all day on a full charge depending on your usage light to medium user you can pretty much go through the whole day on a single charge but if you're on the medium to heavy user you may need to charge it maybe twice a day again all depends on how much use of of you get out of it so almost a, 1000 mAh different and that's about six hours of difference in battery life so if you're going to be upgrading to the 14 pro from the 13 pro max expect that you're going to get less battery life and that is expected because smaller body phone means a smaller size battery again that's just the way the phones are designed now let's move on to the next aspect is it's going to be the software of these two phones so if you go and take a look at the software of both of the phones, both of the phones can actually support iOS 16, and that's no surprise. This is the first upgrade for the 13 Pro Max. This is the first official upgrade on the 14 Pro. Of course, it already comes with iOS 16 ready to go, and there's some updates that's happening. One thing to know right now, there has an issue which Apple recently just addressed, which on the 14 Pro and the 14 Pro Max, there was an issue where the camera was shaking on third party apps which again there's a bug fix for it and it was out so initially when it came out users were reporting that issue but it is no longer available so on ios 16 of course you have all these features available for you one big feature on the actual on the iphone 14 pro that on the 13 pro you don't have is the display is now you have the feature of always on so if you go into display and check out this feature for always on you can always have your phone to be always on so to show you a demo of that so you have this lock screen we close it it just goes darker unfortunately on the 14 pro it does not have that ability here so if you really like that always on feature you won't get that if you close it here you'll see it's not there here when you do that close it it goes darker so the always on feature and of course all the other ios features like being able to remove background off photos being able to do things around messaging around unsending message and editing message you have all that as well that comes with ios 16 upgrade those are available on your iphone of uh, 14 pro and the 13 pro max so ios wise when we're taking a look at comparing the actual performance of software right when you're playing games using it for social media or just using it for general communication purposes all of that seems to work well between both of these devices even when it comes to things like browsing around you notice here performance wise browsing whether you do it on this phone or another or from both of the phones again comparably runs well they do both have 120 hit refresh rate so you're not going to notice a difference on this phone so let's come down to the main thing that you want to know which is going to be around the price point between these two phones so what kind of price point are you looking at when you're looking at it well on the iphone 14 Pro, you're going to be pay $999 for the base 128 gig, and you can go up to one terabyte. Same with the iPhone 14 Pro, but the 14 Pro starts at 1099 
13 Pro Max actually goes up to 1099, but Apple no longer actually sells this device, so you'll have to get it through your carrier or online retailer, which we'll leave some link in the description section for you guys because Apple no longer does that because once they release the Pro model, you only get the regular and the mini model available on the 13 Pro or from their direct website. So overall compatibility wise both phones as you can see here probably when you're going from the 13 pro max to the 14 pro if you are you're just downgrading the size but performance wise of course the 14 pro is a little bit faster but less battery life upgraded camera and those are going to be the main thing between going from a 14 pro uh, 13 pro max to a 14 pro and of course that physical sim so those are kind of the trade-off you're going to get if you're comparing these two phones and Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. We're going to hear from you guys if you guys upgraded to the 14 Pro from the 13 Pro Max. Or which one do you like personally? Which color you like? Leave a comment in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.